Hello everyone! Today we're taking a look at Steam Big Picture Mode. It was uh, released in beta today. Steam Big Picture Mode has been long awaited. It's been known for a while that uh, Valve was developing a television mode for Steam since a lot of people have been hooking up their PCs to their TVs to play games. It only made sense to create a new interface that could be designed around the television instead of the computer monitor. There are a couple big things about this. One, well, you can control it with the mouse, but that's not what we really want to do, because we can control it with the gamepad. And that's one of the big things about Steam Big Picture Mode, that if you're sitting on a couch, you don't have the keyboard and mouse handy, perhaps, you can use the gamepad to maneuver throughout Steam, just like something like the Xbox 360 dashboard, except, uh, except no ads, and it's actually about games. It's pretty slick looking, pretty nice. The content, of course, is going to be the same content that uh, is already in Steam, just reorganized. Yeah, it looks very nice, runs very well, very smoothly. It's running at my uh, PC's current resolution, but you can also output to either 780, uh, 720p or 1080p, whatever, uh, whatever your TV might take. And I'm using a 360 gamepad to do this. That seems to be what uh, Big Picture Mode is based on, especially since if you're in a game, you can access the Steam overlay by pressing the home button, which is the big X button in the middle of the 360 gamepad. So it does seem to be uh, made specifically for this gamepad. All right, so let's uh, take a look at what it looks like when you look at your library. It organizes it like this. So many games I never play. I suppose we should take a look at how Big Picture Mode loads a game. Uh, I think we could, yeah, we could go with the uh, the renowned Dinner Date. I know it's a little bit redundant. We've all played Dinner Date. It's a Steam hit, great replay value. Uh, but I think it's good to go with the familiar for something like this. So again, the same categories that you would usually have under normal, st whoop, under normal Steam. All right, let's play. Something I was very impressed with, uh, with Big Picture Mode, is how fast it crashed. Now, I expected that with this fancy setup, it would have taken longer. However, one criticism I would have is that this window that comes up when uh, the game crashes is that it is the old-style Steam window. I cannot close that with the gamepad. I think that's one oversight that Valve is going to have to look into. Of course, a version. Uh, it's, it's an indie game, it's niche, but uh, it's one that I do like. Now, I don't see why it took so long for that game to crash. Honestly, your version is something like 12 megs. It's not demanding at all, so I'm not sure what was going on there. Uh, oh, I'm Not Alone. We all are familiar with I'm Not Alone, the survival horror smash exclusive to Steam. Uh, let's take a look at what the game forms look like. I mean, it's just really the normal page. A lot of activity on the I'm Not Alone forums. I guess we might as well take... Yes, I love you too, Steam Big Picture Mode. We might as well take a look at, uh, while we're here, at the web interface. Because you can access the web while you're on green light, if you want to do that for some reason. And this is the on-screen keyboard. If you look at those four buttons, those are the four... Xbox 360 buttons in the same configuration and the same colors. So that's basically how you use the gamepad to input text. 
You could just use the keyboard as well if you have it, but since the entire interface is supposed to be used with the gamepad, uh, you do have that option if you want it. So we can look at Google, we can look at Twitter, see what's going on in the Twitterverse. Oh yes, yes, let's uh, let's get out of here and never look at that again. We can also look at Reddit. We can find out all sorts of useful information on Reddit about uh, sexist Yoplait commercials. About how you can't chose to like dick, but you can chose to be one. That is a, a very, very famous, uh, very famous saying. Wise words. Oh, Steam Big Picture Mode, Steam on TV, talking about it on Reddit. The future is here. We are watching YouTube through Steam. A million of your closest friends. Trading, workshop, summer sales. What could be better? But sometimes you just want to kick it in the living room. There are lots of ways to play games in there. But when you go in there, why should you have to make all new friends? Making friends is hard. And worst of all, give up all your favorite games. What? I don't want to do that. Wow. No more. What? Now, really? You can bring Steam with you. Welcome to Big Picture. Oh man! Steam comes to your TV. I was never able to do that before. Your library of all your favorite games, all your Steam friends, all the stuff they make, and the best deals on the best new games from the store you're used to. You mean I don't have to give up all of my games if I want to play on the TV? On Steam, you can run Big Picture. You choose how you want to play. If you want to bring a mouse and a keyboard with you, cool, you can. But the whole thing's been designed with controllers in mind. You can even type with a game controller. What's up with that? I know, it's crazy. A web browser for the TV, that doesn't suck. No, it's it, been designed for controllers too. It kind of does. It's the world's first first-person browser. So try out Big Picture. All you do is click a button. Come join in. No, but that browser bit, no, it, it does kind of suck. I remember using Web TV, and this is not too different. I mean, yeah, it's better than Web TV, but still, it's the same sort of thing where you compared using Web TV to actually browsing with a mouse and keyboard, and there is really no comparison. It's the same deal here. Oh, I had uh, the forums for dinner date loaded up before. Let's see what they're talking about there. A lot of activity, I expect. We can zoom in to see uh, the text more clearly if we need to. Hmm. Yes. You should be scared, Nigel. You should be scared. But you should not be scared of Steam Big Picture Mode. The only unfortunate thing is I can't find a way to access Steam Greenlight from Big Picture Mode, and that is a big oversight. I don't see why that would be the case. I played this recently. But I will not, re I will not be playing it now, as Steam thinks it's running right now, even though it's not. I don't look at that as a bad thing, I just look at it as somewhere out there, someone is playing their games on Steam, big picture mode, and they're having a good time. I would not rob them of that. If I cannot play right now because someone else is, that's fine. Uh, so many games I never play. So, I guess that's really all there is to look at in terms of Steam Big Picture Mode. I can't really think of anything else. Any other features that we should be looking at. I mean, it's just basically self-explanatory. You want an interface to use Steam on your TV with a gamepad, just like, say, uh, a 360 or a PS3? Well, it's here. You can use that now. 
Actually, I think we'll probably want to try out the gamepad keyboard. Oh, that's right. Can't actually launch the game, that's right. Silly. I think uh, I'm going to recommend I'm Not Alone to all my friends. So you recommended for me. That's not what I said I wanted to do. I, would, I do want to recommend a game, but I, I shouldn't have to pick it from here. Yeah, I already had selected recommend this game. No? Hmm. Okay, there we go. Let's recommend I'm Not Alone. Hmm. It's not letting me. Maybe that's because you can't actually buy I'm Not Alone on Steam anymore. For whatever reason, it would seem to be taken off the store. Can't imagine why. Well, in that case, I do want to try out the gamepad, uh keyboard, so let's recommend Dinner Date to everyone. There we go. Let's write a recommendation. Um, let's see... It's fairly intuitive. You have a cluster of uh, letters for every four buttons, depending on where you're pointing the analog stick. Oh, right, spaces. Let's not forget that. can be a little bit difficult to get acclimated to it after being used to the keyboard and all that. Whoops. Oh, there we go, yeah. Yeah, there we go. Mm-hmm. Okay, so now that we've typed that, we can say done and recommend. There we go. It is the best game for all my peeps. All right. So I think that's really all to look at, at Steam Big Picture Mode. It's, uh, like I said, the beta just became available today. You can try it out yourself. Hook up your PC to a TV if it's not already and see how it works for you. Uh, but yeah, I guess this is going to be the future of interacting with Steam. Uh, except the games will probably work. I assume so. And uh, that's Steam Big, uh, big Picture Mode.